Prince Charles' secret tension with newlyweds William and Kate, tasteless photo opportunities. It was their first official overseas visit together as a married couple and newlyweds Kate and William charmed the crowds all the way from Calgary to California on their 10-day royal tour of Canada and Louisiana. But while they may have won new legions of fans, Prince Charles was not best pleased with their efforts, according to Sally Bettle Smith's biography of the future king. According to the writer, the prince thought the trip featured too many tasteless photo ops, and he wasn't pleased with the camera-friendly couple. And he was more than a little irked at the pair treating their overseas trip too much like a personal holiday. Kevin S. McLeod, Canadian Secretary to the Queen, organized the visit and allowed the couple to make their itinerary a lot less formal than many previous royal tours. They traveled with a small entourage and made the visit to Prince Edward Island at Kate's specific request, apparently mindful of the fact that Charles and Diana's 1983 Canada tour was based entirely around the prince's interests and none of his wife's. The Canada tour saw the couple pose up a storm in cowboy hats when they were given the honor of pressing the button to launch the legendary Calgary Stampede. But Kate later made headlines for the wrong reasons as her featherlight Jenny Packham yellow frock was blown up by a gust of wind. Some rather revealing photos of the incident published online led to intense discussion as to whether she was wearing any underwear or not, which was no doubt a source of embarrassment to the new Duchess of Cambridge. Shortly after the tour, royal author Phil Dampier told The Mirror there was a certain rivalry between father and son following William's marriage to Kate. When Charles and Camilla visited Canada two years ago they were greeted by relatively small crowds. They are in their 60s and are not what you would call glamorous, he said. By contrast, William and Kate received the rap 